The best sneakers of 2022 are about to drop and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to cop this pair. Let's get into the video now. What is going on you guys? I'm Josh Salvador and welcome back to another episode of Resale Predictions and Investment Insights. Today's sneaker of the day is going to be the Air Jordan 1 in the Lost and Found colorway, a sneaker that I'm sure all of you have been seeing pop up on your Instagram feeds, TikToks, tic uh, Twitter and whatnot because for very good reason this sneaker is about to make a storm in the entire sneaker community and everybody from the new gens to the old shoe heads are very excited to see the sneaker release let's jump into the video right now so with all the release information out of the way the sneaker is finally confirmed to be releasing 19th of november 2022 for a retail price of 180 usd if you're in australia that's around 250 australian dollars for retail and I know what all of you guys are thinking. It's going to be an OG sneaker, so it's probably going to be very limited. Well, your thoughts would be wrong because apparently the stock levels are rumored to be around 800,000 pairs, which is abnormally large for a Air Jordan 1 sneaker. It puts it at one of the most produced Air Jordan 1s stock level wise at the release date. Uh, for comparison, if you guys remember the Mocha Air Jordan 1s that released, I think, last year, those had an estimated stock level of around 160,000 pairs. And at that time, that was a GR, pretty much. A limited GR or whatnot, because everybody was able to get the pair. Now imagine 800,000 pairs. That got the sneaker community very, very excited to, to the fact that basically everybody could probably get their hands on the pair of these sneakers unfortunately with the high amount of stock levels there's been a lot of people there's controversially been a lot of people taking advantage of the situation and backdooring pairs of these sneakers which as you can see over here flight club has been exposed doing it and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people have been doing that as well so that's quite unfortunate to see. And as for where to cop this sneaker, if you live in Australia, your best bet is going to be signing up for Foot Locker raffles. There's one right now and at the time of the video, by the time this video releases, you would have around 10 hours left to sign up for the sneaker drop. So head over to the link down in my description below and check out the Foot Locker raffle. Uh, it's probably a very good and viable and fair way for you to cop these sneakers the second best place to go is obviously the Nike sneakers website. The drop is going to be happening at 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time on the 19th of November. So make sure to keep your calendars open for that time. Jump on straight away. No hesitations whatsoever. Make sure your Nike account is signed in for the best chances of you copying. If you live in uh, America and whatnot, I'm going to have on screen right now every single place possible for you to cop this sneaker. I'll leave that hyperlink right down in the description below as well for your easy access. But yeah, with all that re uh, with all that release information out of the way, I want to talk about resale predictions, investment insights, where I see these sneakers going, why I think these sneakers are so popular. And to do that, we have to look at the sneaker itself. This sneaker is a reimagined version of the original 1985 Air Jordan 1 Chicago colorways that released in 1985. With all of the old heads, they love that vintage aesthetic and vibe. We want to see that the sneaker has been worn and loved. And this sneaker release uh, pays homage to the old mom and pop stores that sold these sneakers back in the day and even emulates that perfectly with a mismatched box and that that's four damaged as well with the little scuffs on the sides the orange top with the original black black shoe box at the bottom really emulates that mismatched vibe which i really love that as whole entire aesthetic it also comes with a fake receipt further adding to the aesthetic of the original box the whole entire experience that you would have gotten had you purchased the sneaker back in the day that's what i love about sneakers nowadays because right now in the modern day of 2022 we've seen so many sneakers like the balenciagas that have so many other otherworldly and ethereal details to them to try and make them stand out and you know all these expensive price tags it really draws away from where sneakers actually came from the whole entire sneaker culture all of these hype hype beast yeezys that have been coming out all of these price tags all of the hype i really enjoy the experience of the sneakers nowadays like when you open the box what does that actually make you feel that i think encapsulates everything that the sneaker heads came from all of that experience of buying the sneaker opening it up the fresh shoe smell 
putting it on for the first time, wearing them. So that's why I really want to buy these sneakers and I really want to get my hands on them. So if any companies are out there that have a pair for me in a size 10, hit me up, please. I'll do any sponsored videos you need. The color blocking emulates the OG Chicago colorway with white underlays, red overlays, and black accents. The white panels on the sneaker are aged and slightly yellowed to obviously signify the time spent and also have all that rent retro and vintage vibe to it. The cracked black leather on the upper collar of the sneaker, it just is a perfect representation of that timed aesthetic, that retro vibe, which I really think looks cool. Obviously, this sneaker is meant to target the old older sneakerheads, you know, make them relive the past memories of what they used to have back in the day. That's why I think that this sneaker may be challenging to market to the younger demographic who don't really understand the Air Jordan 1 and the cultural significance of the sneaker itself. Just because I'm not too sure what their thoughts are psychologically on the cracked and aged aesthetic. They might not like it as much as, you know, a fresh regular pair of Air Jordan 1s. You really have to have that targeted demographic. But that's not to say that there are a lot of other teenagers, sneakerheads out there that really dig that vintage aesthetic. We've, we've been seeing retro sneakers dominate the sneakerhead industry and market for the past couple of years with that aesthetic of like the 80s, 90s, and etc. So, it can go hand in hand. I do think that the people who reject the sneaker will become the minority, but I do think that for every one person that rejects the sneaker, there's going to be another 10 people in their place that will willingly purchase the sneaker. As for resale prices, in Australia, I've seen some ridiculous prices out there for pre-release. Uh, I've seen prices go from around 800 to 1,000 Australian dollars, which is absolutely ludicrous. And I do think that you should wait till after the release. Don't be paying $1,000 for this sneaker. Uh, on StockX, GOATS, they're reselling for around uh, $500 before the release date. I think there's some early pairs out there and whatnot. But yeah, after the release date, if the 800,000 pair stock levels are actually true, expect that number to decrease rapidly. I do think that this is a limited GI and I don't think that you should be expecting to make an exorbitant amount of money from this. I think that these sneakers will drop from 500 Australian dollars to around a more affordable three to $400 range, just because I know that there will be still be demand for this sneaker as a collector's piece, whilst also there being demand for these sneakers to be worn and used just as it was intended to be. So, it could hover for around the three to four hundred dollar range. I don't think that it will be going past five to six hundred dollars anytime soon. Maybe five, ten years. Of course, these are all theoretical predictions. So yeah, I think three to four hundred dollars is a pretty fair estimate. And for these sneakers to be retailing around two hundred and fifty Australian dollars, there's some nice profit to be made. But I do think that this is just a sneaker for the sneaker heads itself. I don't think that this is any sneaker you should be expecting to make a lot of money on. So for that reason, I do think that this is a hold over time if you can secure pairs, but I do think that just reselling these for like, what, $100 profit is not a fair, is not a bad day for a sneaker reseller if that's what you want to do. But I do think that this sneaker will be fairly easy to get for retail. So if you want to rock these for yourself, I don't think that you should have any problems getting these for retail or if you pay resale down the line. But yeah, that pretty much will wrap up this video. I really hope you guys are excited for the sneaker as much as I am. And let me know if you guys end up copying down in the description below. I'll leave all of the information linked. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Take care and peace out.